All right, so this is just a brief tour of the Laney Fab Lab. I uh, just wanted to walk around and show all the equipment we got in here. Uh, right now we've got a table saw sitting here, though this is about to be moved uh, over in the carpentry department because we don't have a lot of space in here. And we'll uh, put some more woodworking tools in this spot um, and can access that when we need to. Um, in here we've got uh, shop out. We've actually got a, a whole room uh, enclosure for it uh, in order to contain the dust. Uh, this is a 96 by 60 bed uh, with a vacuum table and an auto tool changer and a rotary access up there that we've only used once. Um, as well as uh, dust collection, uh, a dust collector in the back and then air filtration. Uh, and we've also got air plumbed in in order to uh, blow off the table. Um, We've got a lot of screw and hardware organization happening here along with our PPE and adhesives. Um, over here we've got a beautifully organized tool wall. Uh, a lot of power tools. We've actually just reorganized this in order to pack more tools into it to get more out of the toolboxes. Uh, we've got a material stock here. Uh, in the corner we've got a, a kit uh, bench top uh, CNC mill. Uh, we've got more toolboxes on the bottom. Chop saw, some additional storage above, sandpaper, scroll saw, drill press, uh, band saw on wheels so we can move that thing around and get it out of the way of the uh, fire extinguisher and the fire hose when need be. Uh, uh, bench mounted uh, sander, combo sander, uh, all these beautiful mobile workbenches with our stools that uh, get stocked right into there. Uh, you'll see that we've uh, Customize each one so each one has a little different slogan on them uh, as well as our fab lab engraved in the sides um, This big roll-up door will usually be rolled up while we're using the lab. So we've got uh, beautiful access outside uh, We've got a filter here for our uh, For one of our laser cutters as well as a small injection molder uh, and a vacuum uh, Formic vacuum molder as well uh, some kind of scrap storage specifically for the laser cutter over here we've got this great display space, uh, check-in computer, so when students get here they sign in first. Um, but you'll see various objects here. We also loan these out on a regular basis, so we've got a lot fewer than we normally do. Um, and this uh, tower here, this Lazy Susan Tower, was designed by one of our students this last semester in order to better organize all of our swag. Uh, industrial sink, kind of clean-out space, so we use it for cleaning up our 3D print parts uh, coming out of the form labs. Um, we also have kind of the administration desk here, uh, stereo built in, a laptop storage unit uh, that we've also made on the CNC. Uh, we have some temporary locker storage here that was uh, designed and built here in the lab as well. Um, we've got some great improvements that happened this last semester. One of our students got very eager with the vinyl cutter and was doing uh, multicolored vinyl um, tags, and you'll see that on a few of these here. Uh, he also made these great labels for the lockers, so people who, whose names are on these lockers are uh, people that work here or are affiliated with this space in some way, shape, or form. Uh, one of the cool new improvements is these uh, finger poles that were just 3D printed and then they just kind of snap right into place. Um, so we're continually evolving the space and allowing students to really guide that evolution. Uh, over here we've got uh, two laser cutters, one's universal and one's the epilogue. Uh, the Universal is by far the better machine. Uh, Epilogue usually has some form of problem going on with it. Um, we've got uh, various projects that were cut on the laser. Uh, up top here is this beautiful chandelier made by uh, our shop lead who's going to be moving into our lab coordinator position this year. Um, and then we've got uh, some scale models here of a wiki house which has uh, been the basis for one of our, uh, our projects called the Pocket House. Um, some more cool stuff, multicolor vinyl. And then here is what we call our clean room. Uh, we've got another chandelier up there, uh, done in a similar style to the other one I just showed. Um, but this is our clean room. Uh, so here we've got a, a wash station for the Mojo 3D printer as well as a wash station for the Formlabs uh, printer. Um, the, these rubber mats or foam mats on, on top of the counters are also a new addition uh, done by one of our students. Uh, and they're actually going to be embedding instructions right here in, in the glass. Um, so we've got a Mojo 3D printer. Uh, the most expensive printer we've got in the shop, but also the most reliable. 
uh, underneath this cover here. This cover was made by one of our students as well who commercially sells these now. Uh, this is a uh, Form Labs Form 2. Um, then we also have a Cube Pro Trio, which is a three uh, a three filament printer. So it's got three heads on it. We've got a Cube uh, Duo, which is a two filament printer. Um, and we also have a uh, Type A Machines, which has a very large print volume of a cubic foot. Um, and this is a Series 1 Pro. And then we have a, a Roland MDX-40A, which is a benchtop CNC mill. We also have a rotary axis for this. Uh, this will allow us to do PCB boards, um, as well as plas milling woods, plastics, um, though no metals can coming out of that thing. Uh, some more tool and equipment storage. A materials rack for laser cutter, as well as material, uh, materials rack for the, uh, the mill and uh, a few other parts. Uh, then we've got this uh, vinyl cutter over here, uh, designed, uh, well, not designed, but it's a Roland uh, uh, GS24 vinyl cutter. Uh, we can also cut out custom antennas for electronics on thin sheet copper. Above that we have this beautiful rack that was designed and built by one of our students. And you'll see we've got this bent wire here, which was done with a machine called um, the DI wire. Uh, so it's a CNC wire bender. Um, and just to point out, here's another cool storage unit built, by, built and designed by the same student who did the vinyl cutter rack. Um, it stores all of our trays for the form labs. Alright, that is the quick and dirty tour of the Fab Lab. We've got a couple of sewing machines that are stashed away. Our DIY wire is also stashed away. And we have some electronics tools, tools that are stashed away. So hopefully this helps uh, to inform your vision about who we are here at the Fab Lab.